Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at the market today with QQQ, SPY as the indices and in the stocks we'll be taking a look at Apple, Tesla, NEO, XPeng, NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. We'll be able to identify by the end of this video what all in all the price action has been telling us and what we can expect from the market in coming days and weeks. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. And please remember, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. All right, starting off with QQQ. So uh, we are selling off after topping out here. Well, QQQ filled this gap and we are now just finding some support at 20 days moving average on the daily interval. We gapped down quite horribly and then throughout the day QQQ just tried to crawl its way back up. This is the hourly interval, sort of just, you know, recapturing some of the sell-off but couldn't quite go all the way to the previous day closing price even. It found some support at 200 hours moving average but just looking at it right now it just looks weak enough that there is more downside coming in my opinion and that's what I have been you know, also talking about that eventually in the long run, we are going to be heading to the downside. Now, this is the last spot where bulls can, if they want, they can control and take it up again. But I think it's going to soon start falling into the bull, I'm sorry, bear territory. Um, and we will be eventually be breaking this low as well because guys, the macros are still weak on the market. Um, let's take a look at SPY. SPY is the same story, gapped down, but it was bought back up, kind of closed above 20 days moving average, but it is sort of just about to, you know, trend lower, like it's below 50 days moving average right over here, you can see that SPY didn't quite fill this gap, it just the selling price, this tells you that the gap didn't fill, that means selling pressure was very high over there on the market to you know push it down like spy is still below 200 hours moving average and this can be a rolling resistance for coming days and maybe more downside is coming on spy as well and you trade to the next levels you know you trade level to level right now please guys if you want to ask me that where the market is going tell me that if those are the comments you want to put down there guys don't care putting those comments and you don't because you are missing the whole point on how the stock market works. You know, if someone is coming with the, um, you know, expectations that the market just supposed to take them where someone points them and then that's all and otherwise nothing works for them, right? Like that's how everything should be there. Everyone should have the answers to their questions. Guys, if those are the expectations you are coming with the stock market, I, I can tell you that you will never be able to make any money in the stock market and you will always lose. So... Let's have the expectations right, and I don't care if um, uh, if someone doesn't like my content, that's completely fine because I'm not here to cater my content towards how you want to see it. I'm here to tell the truth and how the stock market works, okay? So if you are willing to learn, then learn. If you're not willing to learn, I'm not going to spend my time in debating with you on your, you know, uh, different things of uh, in in your mind how you think oh stock market should work like this and if it does not work like this then everything is wrong and if you're coming with that mindset you're not gonna go anywhere in the stock market so better you just do something else and not the stock market okay that was spy and we are now taking a look at apple so apple guys is not looking good it is looking horrible it is it like oh it just gapped down so much sure after such a horrible gap down you would see some buying back up uh guys uh, this <laughs> this thing is kind of done you can see it, it like just kept falling in the pre-market and then you know sure some bounce came which is expected at one of our important levels of 175.88 then um, but guys, yeah, this is not looking good with Apple. You know, if any, sure, after such a sell-off on the RSI, you can see how beaten up RSI is. Some bounces, you know, can come, but, you know, it's technically been falling and is in the downtrend. Okay, very simple with Apple. There's nothing else on the tech stocks that I would want to cover in this video. Uh, just for the Apple, I want to show you that. Now, again, 200 days moving average may very well, you know, come in play with the Apple stock. So, there is definitely, guys, uh, a downside that may be expected. Again, as I said, some bounce and then continuation to the downside with Apple. 
uh, guys you have to trade level by level and with these moving averages and the break of the levels taking a look at now evs so we'll start off with tesla so tesla guys so the thing is that in the price section tesla is showing that um, we have buyers present from 244 dollars onwards and tesla is showing good buyers there you can, and how you tell that is that because you see the price action the wick at the bottom yesterday the buyers are present here we see a green candle we see buyers today we gap down but buyers stepped in at the level of 243 dollars so guys there are a lot of buyers present tesla really want to hold this level now if i go to the hourly interval on tesla uh, what are we seeing we found support at 200 hours moving average on the test on tesla and we have been you know continuing to go up from uh you know thereafter now sure some uh, tiny mini sell-off is coming but you know that is not very significant that is you know uh fine in itself um and now with tesla guys since it has been finding good support at the level of 243 um, this thing can find support at 20 hours and 50 hours moving average and if it wants can continue its journey you know up from here so just something to keep in mind now most of the action when it happens in the pre-market and post-market market usually tries to reverse the direction when the market opens so pretty much that's what Tesla did but it also found the support at 200 hours moving average you can see that um, other than that, guys, the play on Tesla is that if it breaks the $252.11 tomorrow, it's an upside play. If it breaks the level uh, below 20 and 50 hours moving average, there might be some, again, only 200 hours moving average downside may come. But Tesla is looking good for bounce and to go to the upside. So that's with Tesla where, where I'm seeing it right now. Uh, nothing else to cover on it guys it's definitely if it can squeeze out of about 50 days moving average more you know upside coming if it breaks through 20 days moving average it's the downside play it's a flush play i would say then but right now as i said the level the tesla is looking like buyers are really present at 243 dollars level neo guys okay it, it is it's gone um it is below 200 days moving average you know this this is not a play uh, this is not a momentum play. I don't know if it's a short play. Um, ten dollar stocks. I don't short ten dollar stocks. If that's something is your you know uh, thing to do, then you can have your stop loss above two hundred days moving average, and you can play the downside on it. But uh, this thing is not looking good. No. Nope. Xpeng, unless it gets above two hundred days moving average again. Xpeng sell off today. Uh, it does have a support at twenty and fifty days moving average still so again you have to watch this level if this level holds um I, I, other than that guys yeah the trade would be around 20 and 50 days moving average find supports it could be played long if it breaks it's a down play on xpeng very simple okay taking a look at semiconductors let's start off with intel i'll cover then amd and then nvidia at the very end so intel has squeezed out of 37 dollars and eight cents it's looking like it's gonna keep going up. Even if it comes down, that's a good support now at the level of $37. So it's a good support now on Intel. Um, Intel can, you know, the next level on Intel after breakout $40 is the next level. And then after that is the $44. Again, I, I don't trade Intel, but it's turning out on day level, a really good squeeze out play at the moment. So that's what Intel has been doing. Taking a look at AMD, AMD gap down. Um, it's just found support at one of our levels, $104.96. We have to go to the hourly interval on AMD to see more on this. Uh, the intraday play pretty much on this is, if, so it seems like there is a good support coming at the level of 105 and 26 cents right over here. We have a good support. And a good support now the things that you need to be watching the play on this is if it continues to break 105 102 is the downside play and if it breaks this you can see these wicks up on the top right um there's selling happening here 
uh, $107 is if it breaks out above it, this can squeeze out to the upside. So these are the two levels you need to be watching on AMD. All right, guys, final stock for this video. And I want to keep this video very precise and to the point. So with NVIDIA, guys, so NVIDIA gapped down horribly today. It went all the way down to 451. It was bought back up a little bit later in the afternoon. Um, but it is still in now it's in the downtrend guys we talked about it that Nvidia broke below 200 hours moving average yesterday we talked about it and we said that there's more downside coming on it I covered some of my short position as per my plan I had it open from $487 um, the swing position and my plan was that I'll cover some at 20 days moving average I covered that today some of it I'm still carrying some of it because why not I think it's it may it has more downside to come Nvidia is getting into bearish territory. Bulls are protecting it, though. It's it it was bought back up above 50 days moving average, right? So bulls are still protecting it. Technically, and this is where I called out this level, right? Watch out, $458 range to $450. This is where buyers are present, and we are seeing some buyers stepping in today. Now, this is a game over if it breaks below 50 days moving average. I mean, it's gonna go into the bear territory below that. So. Uh, that's something you need to be keeping an eye on otherwise guys it may try to fill this gap that's the only gap left to the upside at the moment and if i go back to the hourly interval I, technically it is still in the downtrend guys um yeah it is it is in the downtrend guys any bounce like technically is a downplay um now the next level if it keeps falling the next support is at 439 so if it breaks 450 next level is 439 and then below that is 419 yeah so guys um i think nvidia is finally now weakening and um we will see where it will go all right guys this is all for this video oh well one more thing though um so tech yeah it has broken that trend line that we were having so yeah all right guys this is all for this video i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video take care bye